I'm going to continue playing my thematic saga campaign, playing the last quest in the Land of Shadow expansion, Shelob's Lair. Attach heavy burden to the ring bearer. And a heavy burden is permanent forced at the end of the planning phase either raise each player threat by one or exhaust a ring bearer we're going to be playing with the black riders version of proto baggins our old bogey stories And for deck one, I'm going to be playing a Messenger of the King. You cannot choose more than two heroes during a setup. Choose a non-unique ally from your deck and put it into play. Add the sum of that ally's printed willpower, attack, defense, and hit points to your starting threat. Then flip this card over and attach it to that ally. Attached ally loses the ally card type and gains the hero card type. The attached character cannot be ready more than once per phase. Messenger of the King is immune to card effects while attached character is in play. If attached character leaves play, remove Messenger of the King from the game. And the deck that I've made here is it's got Sam Gamgee with his noble hero attached and to represent the light and Galadriel I have Galadriel with her three golden hairs and then Sam is always uh, has Rosie on her mind, on his mind. So my messenger of the king hero is Rosie. Starting threat is 23 because we had to take the plus two permanent threat penalty from the dead marshes, passes through the marshes quest. And since the only character is actually with Frodo on this journey is Sam. I, the most thematic deck is the deck one. And deck two is, I read when they were going up the winding stairs they were talking about all the different people that had different adventures and if their if the story would be told into a tale. So I have Bilbo Baggins, the Nine Threat Tactics Hero, one, one, two, two, Hobbit Burglar. Response. After Bilbo Baggins commits to the quest, choose an enemy in the staging area. Until the end of the phase, Bilbo Baggins gets plus X willpower, where X is the number of, is the threat of the enemy. If the player's quest successfully, deal one damage to that enemy. Two damage instead if it's guarding a card. Then I have Glorfindel, and Galdor of the Havens. He's a nine threat lore hero, two, two, one, four, Noldor, response. After drawing your setup hand, instead of taking a mulligan, 
You may discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw that many cards. And the starting spread is 25. I've got the Ill Fate that we shuffle into the encounter deck. And are overcome by grief. And we got Sting and Mithril Shirt and the Brace of Coney shuffled into the deck. Tom Bombadil. Gandalf's delay. One A. The stairs of Curious Ungle. Smeagol has led Frodo and Sam to the Morgul Vale, where he promises to show them a secret way over the mountains of shadow and into the land of Mordor. But Sam fears that Gollum may be leading them into a trap. Set Cliff of Curious Ungle, Shelob, and the giant spider. Encounter set out of play. The great spider encounter set out of play. Put Smeagol into play under the first player's control. Make Morgul Vale active location. Add Smeagol's secret way to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we're setting the Morgul Vale. It's the active location. Smeagol's Secret Way. Smeagol. We got the Cliff of Curious Ungle. She loved, and then their counter set aside out of play. 1B. Progress cannot be placed in underground locations. Response. After Smeagol's secret way is explored, discard three random cards from each player's hand to discard each Nazgul enemy in the staging area. Force. At the end of the quest phase, if Smeagol's secret way is in the victory display, advance to 2A. Our opening hands. Hand off delay. We don't. We skip the draw step. Uh, there's nothing really so important here. I'm going to take a mulligan.
Limbus, Friend of Friends, Staff of Levisron, Hobbit Cloak, Elrond's Council, and Limbus. Limbus, Duran's Ruins, Sora's Key, Unexpected Courage, Elrond's Council, and Akina's Lances. We're going to skip the response and just do a regular mulligan. Illorus Council, Spear of a Citadel, Ancient Mazum. Elrond's Council, Attesta Will, and Akina's Lances. Much better. We're going to spend one and put a Hobbit cloak onto Sam. Here. Andre is going to reduce our threat and draw a card. Door is closed. Now we're going to quest. There is two in the staging area. Five, six. Den of Night and uh, Exhaustion and Decay. Each player discards one random card from his hand and discards one non objective attachment he controls. I'll well, just uh, might have to discard it anyway. I'm just going to get play a test of will and cancel that. So request successfully by three. So that clears out the Morgul Vale. After Morgul Vale is explored, each player we search the deck for ring weight race, and then the first player must either exhaust the one ring or discard one random card from each player's hand.
We got the Morgul Race. Discard a card from each player's hand. Omron's console. And a sphere of a citadel. Now we're going to travel to the Smeagol's secret way with exhausting Smeagol. Go to the next round. Elven Light. I'm not going to play anything. Deck one. I'm going to put a staff of Levithron onto Sam. And a friend of friends onto Sam. We're going to exhaust Gladriel to reduce our threat and draw a card. Spend two. And put uh, Unexpected Courage onto Sam. Five in the staging area. We're going to quest for four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, thirteen. And we're going to target the mortal race. Call of the Ring. We gotta search the deck for a Nazgul. And then the underway. So that added six. We're going to play at Elrond's Castle. Reduce our threat by three. And we're at Elrond's Castle. Reduce our threat by three. And that explores the secret way. And now, after Smeagol's secret way is explored, each player must either exhaust one character he controls or discard a random card. We're going to exhaust a character. Rosie and Lorfindel. And then we're going to do the response of discarding three random cards to get rid of all the mortal race. So here.
And now these two are discarded. And at the end of the questing phase, we go to the stage 2A. And we go, to, so we've got 2A, the spiders pass. Presently, there were, they were under the shadow, and there in the midst of it lay, they saw the opening of a cave. This is the way in, said Gollum softly. This is the entrance to the tunnel. He did not speak of its name, Turk Ungle, Shelob's lair. When revealed, add Shelob to the staging area and shuffle all the cards from the great spider encounter set and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. So we got all our nice, Shelob's nice little toys here. Poison and rage and hunger. And we've got Shelob. Fifty engagement cost four 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 eight. Indestructible. Cannot have attachments. Shelob gets plus one threat for each resource on her. Forced. At the beginning of the quest phase, either place one resource on Shelob or she makes an immediate attack against the first player. And now, traveling, we're going to travel to the Den of Night. And we have to put a resource on the Shelob. Go to the next round. Strider. Cross collateral. Reduce my threat by one and draw a card. Taste it again. We're going to put Strider onto Rosie. Rosie's going to get plus two willpower. Everybody's console, Elven Light, and the Ancient Mathem. I'm going to play an Ancient Mathem. Take this as farmer's food that they gave him. Put that onto the Den of Night. Now I'm going to quest, and it's the questing phase in Shelob. I'm going to block with Sam and remove this shadow card. And four attack, and we have three defense. So we take one damage.
Now we're going to quest. We're going to target Bilbo against Shelob. So there's seven in the staging area. We're questing for four, five, six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Raise our threat by one, make it sixteen. Mortal Orc. Either discard a random card from your hand or reveal an encounter card. We're going to discard a random card from our hand. Exhaustion and Decay. Each player discards one random card from his hand and one non objective attachment he controls. Okay? Elven Light. And we're going to get rid of a leaf wrap limbus and the three golden hairs. We're actually going to get rid of a old bogey stories. And that added one. So we quest successfully one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That clears the den of night and puts four progress onto the main quest. Because on side 2B, 16 quest points, they had not gone more than a few yards when from behind them came a sound starting startling and horrible in the heavy padded silence, a gurgling, bubbling noise, and a long venomous hiss. The two towers. Shelob cannot leave the staging area and Smeagol cannot attack or defend. Each player cannot play or put into play one or more allies each round. No more than four progress can be placed on the stage each round, so we have to stay here at least four stages. We get to draw three cards. Fireside Song, Hasty Stroke, and a Nenya. We're going to travel to the underway. And right now, if you quest successfully, Bilbo does a damage to the enemy. But when you go to the next stage, all the enemies, all the damage is just taken off. So I'm not even going to put it on there. Now I'm not going to engage anything and I'm going to go to the next round. Elven Light, spend one, bring back this Elven Light, draw a card, test a will. Here at Galadriel. The Mirror Galadriel. We're going to put a Nenya on the Galadriel. We're going to spend two and put a Fireside Song onto Rosie. Now 
we're gonna quest, we're gonna put a resource on the she love instead of having her attack. Raise our threat by one. We're gonna do another quest for three, four, five, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. And there is seven in the staging area. Ill fate. Attached up to Frodo. Artist Bilbo. We hates them. We have to slip, flip Smeagol to Gollum. We're going to just exhaust the ring. I reveal the next card. Den of Night. That is Surge. Orc of Curious Uncle. Either discard one random card from each player's hand, or Curious Uncle makes an immediate attack against you. We're going to have it and take it undefended. No shadow, it's four damage. I put that on to Glorfindel. And a Den of Night. So that added three, four. So it's request successfully one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to exhaust Galadriel, make add four more. So request successfully by two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Clears the underway and puts four progress on the main quest. Now we're going to travel to the den of night, putting a resource on Shelob. And we're going to engage the Morgul Orc. That readies up Sam. We're going to block and remove this shadow card. And he has four damage, or four defense, so it's no damage. And now we're going to ready him up with unexpected courage. And Rosie's going to give him plus five attack. So he's attacking for seven, and that destroys him. And we go to the next round. Dunedain signal. I'm gonna put that on to Sam.
dagger. I don't want to where to put a dagger. Put that on the Glorfindel. Going to the questing phase. Going to put a resource on the Shelob. And we're going to play a Gildor's Console. We reveal one last encounter card this round. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11. Requesting for four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Testing for 16. Spider's Lair. Press successfully by 2. We're going to add Rosie. Makes that quest successfully by 7. And then Put in Gladriel, and now we've got enough to put our four progress here. Now travel. Gonna travel to the den of night. I'll put a resource on the Shelob. And go to the next round. Unexpected courage. And put unexpected courage onto Sam. Fellowship of the Ring. Now we're going to quest. Resource here. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventeen, nineteen, and there's 
7, 8, 9, 10, 15. Raise our spread by 1. Add 3 more. 22. Morgul Orc. Either discard a random card from your hand or reveal an additional encounter card. Or just for a random card. Okay, underway. So that added three. Press successfully by four. I'm going to add Gladriel. makes that eight. So that clears the den of night and puts four more here to make us have enough to go to the next stage. Three A. Got him, hissed Gollum in his ear. At last, my precious You've got him, yes, the nasty hobbit who makes this, we takes this one, she'll get the other one. Oh yes, she love will get him, not Smeagol, he promised. He won't hurt Master at all, but he's got you, you filthy little sneak. He spat on Sam's neck, the two towers. When revealed, add Cliff to Kirith Ungle to the staging area, Cliff Smeagol to Gollum, and heal all damage from Shelob. Each player places one resource on Shelob. Three B. Eight quest points. If Gollum is defeated, add him to the victory display. Do not flip him over. While Shelob has at least one resource on her, she gains forced. When Shelob is dealt any amount of damage, cancel that damage and discard one resource from Shelob instead. The players cannot defeat this stage unless both Shelob and Gollum are in the victory display. If the players defeat this stage, they win the game. So we've got to get rid of ten resources, or eight resources, before we can damage Shelob. We engage us there, and he's dealt a shadow card because of the underway. And we're going to travel to the underway. Now we're going to go to the combat phase. We're going to block with Sam. Removing this one. And no shadow, so no damage. Now we go to the next round. Gollum engages the first player and makes immediate attack. We're going to take it undefended. It's if attacking enemy Shelob, it's not. So, two damage. Was it on the Glorfindel? Or Gladriel? Okay. 
last hitch, we're going to put a Fellowship of the Ring onto Frodo Baggins. It was Boromir died. They feel that the rest of their company died also, and they're the last of the Fellowship. So all heroes get plus one willpower. And one. We're going to put a fast hitch onto Rosie. And that mirror of Galadriel onto Galadriel. Elrond's console. And one hand draw card limps. And one and put a limbus on the Sam. Now we're, Shelob's going to make immediate attack. We're going to block with Sam and remove this. We take one damage. Now we're going to ready up with Limbus. And heal up to damage. So we're at 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 in the staging area. Questing for five. Six, seven. Fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Twenty six. Exhaustion and decay. Each player exhausts discards one random card and one non objective card. He controls attachment. Discard a dagger of westerness and a three golden hairs. Card two is a mortal race. So that added four. So I successfully by five. And Elrond's console. Request successfully by six. And 
And now we're going to add Rosie to add one, two, three, four, five, six. So request successfully by 12. That clears out the underway and puts nine onto the main quest. And we deal one damage to Sheila because we quest successfully. We're not going to travel anywhere. We're going to block Gollum with Sam. Makes an additional attack. Take it undefended. If attacking enemy is Shelob, it's not. So we put two damage, we're gonna put it on to Sam. Now Sam is gonna attack for one plus Gladriel is gonna boost one, two, three, four, five, six to make it seven, that destroys Gollum. And we go to the next round. One draw Elven Light Duron's Ruins. Draw two cards. Elven Light, discard an Elven Light. Play a fast hitch under prep. Sam. Taste it again. Mm. We're going to be risky and do a miracle adrial. Red book, doors closed, fast hitch, remedy, keen's lances, Frodo's intuition, hasty stroke, hobbit cloak, keen's lances, and a hobbit cloak. We're going to keep a Frodo's intuition. Taste it again. Uh, Shelob's going to attack. We're going to block with Sam. I remove this. And then we're going to exhaust 
Rosie to give plus five defense, so no damage. Seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21. We're going to quest 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 25. Mark of Kurosungle. Either discard one random card from each player's hand or makes an immediate attack. I'm going to play it, test the will, and cancel that effect. Lurking Malice. I'm going to put one resource onto Shelob. Surge. Shelob's Poison. Attached to a hero you control and exhaust that hero. Counts as a condition attachment with text limit one per hero. Treat attached hero's text box as blank except for traits. An attached hero cannot ready. Who do we want to put it on? I guess we're going to be putting it on Collateral. So we added two. Quest successfully by two. Now we deal one damage to Shelob. We're going to engage the mortal orc. That readies up Sam. Block with Sam, no shadow. Then we're going to ready up, and Rosie's going to give plus six attack, and that destroys the Morgul Orc. Go to the next round. Design Remedy. We're going to play a Frodo's Intuition. Draw three cards. Fast Hitch, Red Book of West March, and the door is closed. So we're going to, it's a red book of West March. We're going to put that onto Rosie. Now I'll have it 
characters get plus one willpower. Rosie is questing. Play a Dune and Dine Remedy. Put that on the Sam. Put a fast hitch onto Rosie. And do our mirror. Silver harp. Doors closed. We're going to put the silver harp onto Gladriel. Hector of Lorien. We give Bilbo a Protector of Lorien. She loves going to attack. We're going to block this. Sam, removing this. And Rosie's going to get plus six defense. So no damage. That's five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, twenty two. We're going to quest. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty seven, twenty eight. Twenty nine thirty thirty four the block tunnel make it immediately make it the active location rage and hunger I'm gonna play it. Test a will and cancel that effect. So we added nothing. So we quested successfully by 12. That clears out the block passage and puts three onto the main quest. Takes one off the Shelob. And Rosie gets a resource. Let me go. Can I engage a Orc of Curious Ungle? Ready up. Block with Sam. It's not she loves, so no shadow. Go. Four defense. We're going to exhaust Rosie. We give Plus six attacks, so we're attacking back for seven, and he's destroyed. Okay. 
We go to the next round. We actually had plus one, two, three more because it's a Frodo's intuition. Source key. So source key. And we're going to discard two cards to Protector of Lorien. And now we're going to activate Hal Galdor the Haven's action. If you have zero cards in your hand, draw six cards. Ron's Council, Fast Hitch, Duran's Ruins, Song of Wisdom, Out of the Wild, and Light of Elendil. And a plane out of the wild. There's top five cards. Now we're going to get rid of a Shelob's poison. So there's no more Shelob poison left in the deck. Spend one and give the Song of Wisdom to Bilbo. We're going to put a fast hitch. Put it on the Bilbo. I'll go over to the deck one out of the wild. I'm going to use the mirror. Get a staff. Put the staff onto Bilbo. Now we're going to quest. She loves going to attack. We're going to block with Sam. If this attack destroys a character, it doesn't. And Rosie's going to give plus defense. So there's 10, 17, 18, 19 in the staging area. 
Oh, we're requesting for three. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, twenty. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty three, one, three, two, thirty three. Many openings. Each location in the staging area gets plus one threat until the end of the round. If the number of locations in the staging area is less, the number of players in the game reveal an additional encounter card. So it is. So we reveal an additional encounter card. We hate them. There's no Smeagol in play. Either discard a random card. Or he makes an reveal an additional encounter card. We're going to lock with Bilbo. I remove this. So we take one damage. Yeah, one more card. Exhaustion and decay. So we have to discard a one random card and one non objective attachment. Well, we're going to get rid of. Thor's key, and we don't need this anymore, so why don't we get rid of Nenya? So we added one. So we quest successfully by 13 to 30, and it does one damage here. We get a resource. Now we're going to travel. To the spider's lair. And we're going to block with Sam and remove this. And give Sam plus defense from Rosie, so no damage. We go to the next round. Hobbit cloak. Do the mirror. Expect courage, Frodo's intuition, silver circlet, mithril shirt, hasty stroke, hobbit cloak, friend of friends. We're going to get a friend of friends. I'll put a friend of friends 
onto Rosie. And then have a cloak on to Bilbo. Deck two, Olympus. I'm going to put a light of Elendil onto. Lorfindel. And a Limbus onto Sam. Spend one resource and put around a Bilbo, the Dunedine Remedy, and then spend one and send it back to. Sam that Shelob's gonna make an attack. We're gonna block with Sam. I remove this. No damage because we've got four defense. Nine, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Requesting for three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 against not 16. Spider's Lair and the Underway. So that added 5. So request successfully clears this, removes one resource from Shelob. Travel to the spider's lair. We're going to block with sh attack with Sam. Makes an additional attack. We're going to ready up and block again. It doesn't destroy character. We should have engaged. No, we're just going to say we play this. We're going to play that. I do have to spread by three. Now we go to the next round. Rosie got a resource. I forgot to put the underway, the Cliff of Curious Ungle into the staging area, but we've been quest successfully questing by over four every round, so it doesn't matter. And this is when you travel to it, you got to place a resource on Shelob, and when it's explored, Shelob loses indestructible and gains plus two attack and is engaged with the first player.
Door is closed. Use a mirror out of the wild, Frodo's intuition, staff, silver circlet. Ooh, the song of wisdom. We're gonna do it. Frodo's intuition. Get more cards. Silver harp to keep it. It's me. Play the Frodo's intuition and draw three cards. Song of Hope. What's that on to Rosie? Fast Hitch. What's that on to Sam? Limbus. So I have a Limbus, puts it onto Sam. Now we're going to block. She loved with Sam. No shadow. We're going to quest seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Against four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Den of Night and a Deep Dark Passage. So that added three. So we quest successfully by nine. That clears this. Remove a resource. Quest successfully, so remove deal one damage, remove a resource. We're going to Travel to the underway. And we're going to engage the, the sky. Ready up Sam. Block. Move this. And then attack with Sam and Rosie together. Adding the attack and it's destroyed. Rosie got a resource request successfully, and we go to the next round. Rosie's up to 12 resources already. determination we're going to spend one and bring back an elven light draw a card unexpected courage go over to the deck one hasty stroke Now 
the mirror. Games Glasses, Friend of Friends, Test of Will, Song of Travel. Oran's Castle, Out of the Wild. We're going to take a Song of Travel. This time we're going to give this over to Bilbo. Bilbo now has wisdom and travel. We're going to spend one and bring back an Elven Light. Draw a card. Spend one, bring back another Elven Light. Draw a card. I expected courage. Now we're going to, Shelob's going to make an attack. We're going to block with Bilbo and remove this. Now we're going to quest. Three. Four, five. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 32, and there is 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19. Rage and Hunger. Plus two attack and attack each player in turn order. Okay. We're going to block with Sam. Remove this. And attack for six. We're going to have Rosie Exhaust to give plus defense, so no damage. Ready up. There's another fast hitch. Block again. Deal attacking enemy two additional shadow cards. Additional attack. And attacking enemy a shield that makes additional attack. I'm going to cancel one of them. So it makes one additional attack. No shadow. Next card is Lurking Malice. You have placed one resource on Sheila where she makes an immediate attack against you. Place one resource on her. That surges. Either discard one random card from each player's hand or makes an immediate attack. And discard the random cards. Uh, 
Uplink determination. Door is closed. So we added three and one for ourselves because of um, Shilov. Requested successfully, we deal one damage. This is explored. Now we're just going to go to the next round. Get a resource requesting successfully. Limbus. The mirror. I'm getting out of the wild. I'm getting out of the wild. I'm going to search the top five cards in the counter deck for a card with no victory points and put it in the victory display. We're going to put a Lurking Malice into the victory display. It's got Surge, so it's like getting rid of another card. We'll go over to deck two. Ah, Fast Hitch. I'm going to discard three cards to the Bilbo, for the Protector of Lorien. Then I'm going to draw three, put them all back in my hand and draw three cards. I got a spear. I'm going to put the spear onto Bilbo. That settles this. My next question, I'm going to put a fast hitch on the Bilbo. I'm going to put an unexpected courage on the Bilbo. I'll spend two. And put a silver circlet, a silver harp onto Lorkendel. Now, going into the questing phase, we're going to block Shelob with Sam and remove this. We're going to play a Gildor's console. We're only going to be revealing one encounter card. So we're questing for 30. Uh, 33 or 32 against 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we're only revealing one card. Orc of Curious Ungle. Either discard one random card from each player's hand or makes immediate attack. I'm just going to discard a card from each player's hand. Now this. Oh, fine. Okay. So we added one, two. So we quest successfully. Deal one damage here and get a resource. Now we're going to go to the next round. Race of Conies. Then one draw a card out of the wild. A player brace of conies. You can only play it if you control the ring bearer, and we do. We're going to give two resources to Bilbo and draw two cards. And we're gonna play an out of the wild. I get rid of many openings. And now Keenan's lances are free. We're gonna play Keenan's lances for free and drop my spread by four. Doors closed to the mirror. I get a song of wisdom. I'll put that on to Rosie. We're going to go to the questing phase. We're going to block with Bilbo. When Bilbo blocks, he does one damage to Shelob. And we'll remove this. So there's two, four, six, ten. 17, 21 in the staging area. Um, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. We take back Billow. I'll be taking back eight. Yeah, we'll keep Bilbo. Just ready him up. Surge. Many openings we each location gets plus one, so that's gonna be one, two, three. And a deep dark passage, another three. So we've had successfully. Deal one damage to Shelob. We're going to travel to the cleft of Kurosangle. We put one resource onto Shelob. And we're going to go to the next round. Rosie got a resource requesting successfully. Mithril shirt. Do the mirror. And I'll play Crow's intuition. We're going to draw three cards. Put a hobbit cloak under Rosie. Mesperal shirt on the Frodo. An unexpected courage. On to Frodo. Now we're going to give a dagger to Frodo. Now we're going to block Shelob with Sam. If this attack destroys a character, discard a random card, it doesn't. Now we're going to ready up. And there is five. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 in the staging area. We're requesting for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Deep Dark Passage. And 
and uh, rage and hunger. She's going to make an immediate attack against each player in order. Okay. We're going to exhaust. Sam and block and remove this. And tagging for six, we have one, two, three, four. We take two damage. And we're going to ready up with Limbus. Heal up. And then block with Bilbo. And remove this. And deal one damage, and that removes that. So Bilbo has one, two, three, four. And we're going to discard two Elven Lights that give it plus two defense, so no damage. So we added minus one and added two. So we quested successfully enough to clear the cleft of Kira's Ungle. So now she all out gets plus two attack, loses indestructible, and gains she engaged the first player. He also gets dealt one damage for questing successfully. So she's going to engage the first player. That readies up Sam. So Sam now is one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five defense. Going to block Shelob. Deal attacking enemy two additional shadow cards. No thank you. Cancel that. No damage. Ready up with fast hitch. And Rosie's going to give plus eight attack. So we're attacking for ten. Minus four is six. That's just enough to destroy Shelob. So Shelob is destroyed. The players cannot defeat this stage unless both Shelob and Gollum are in the victory display. If the players defeat this stage, they win the game. So if both Shelob and Gollum are in their victory display, so there's a win. That's one thing with this quest, it drags on and on. I hope you enjoyed it. I would say the MVPs were Fast Hitch and say Hobbit Cloaks, giving that extra two defense. They could easily make an argument for the staffs. Say the staff and fast hitch. The staff got rid of all those nasty shadow cards. Well, we're we'll going to say goodbye to the hobbits and we'll see you in the passing of the Great Company. And the resolution is. Add a heavy burden to the campaign pool. The players have earned that burden. Master, dear master, he said, for Frodo did not speak. As he had run forward, eager, rejoicing to be free, she loved with hideous 
speed had come from behind, come behind, and just one swift stroke had stung him in the neck. He lay now pale and heard no voice and did not move. The two towers. Yeah, I pretty much didn't use Frodo at all in this class. He poisoned. 